Hey everyone, this is Rod Johnson. This is going to be my Game of Thrones Season 8 Episode 4 review. So, last week was the Battle, battle of Winterfell, and this is kind of the fallout from that battle. We kind of expected what happened last week to kind of be a significant point, but it actually kind of affected more of what happened two episodes ago, really. Uh, when everyone was thinking they were going to die, there was lots of hopefulness, lots of, you know, trying to come to terms with what was going to happen. Uh, Arya is going out and kind of, you know, getting with Gendry. Everyone else is kind of trying to make peace with what happened. But now that the battle is won, that Arya has killed uh, the Night King, everyone's got to come to terms with what happened. Uh Danny's got to deal with uh, Sir Jorah dying. Uh, everyone else who lost people <laughs> just kind of have to deal with it. And it's not easy for any of them. And even more looming now is the fact that they have to deal with Cersei. So episode kind of starts with them getting rid of all the bodies. They're burning all the bodies from the battle. Um, I don't know how important it is now because of the no more night king so which means no more white walkers and whatnot but that doesn't matter they're just trying to you know honor the dead and get rid of them um so this episode kind of has some things that happened that have been expected for a while we have uh we have jamie finally getting <laughs> with brianne stark you know the the, the one who it's not brianne stark wow uh Man, I am so bad with names sometimes. I'm going to have to get all this out of it. It's like, you know, you go, <laughs> there's so many names. And, yes. But anyways, they're going to, Jamie finally gets with Bran of Tark. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, which is kind of a cool moment. It's funny because it's, you kind of expect her and, and uh, Giant Spain to get together. But nope. Jamie and her are kind of destined to be together, which is kind of cool. Um, after that happens, it's kind of like, okay, now we got to go mess with Winterfell. And like a lot of this, but this episode is, how is everyone going to deal with what's going to happen? How is everyone going to deal with what they have to do now? And a lot of people are trying to stay there. Jamie's trying to stay there and stay there with Brian. Um, but he, he knows just like a lot of people know, like everyone leaves to go to Winterfell and he's like, I can't stay here. And he's, he gets out all on his own ass again. He's like all hard on himself, but like he knows he can't sit there and let his sister be her. I think, I think that's really the fight he was going with. Um, so Danny and, and John go in a bunch of boats, the Greyjoy's boats, and they start going to Dragon, trying to go to Dragonstone, and they get jumped by, uh, by what is his name, by uh, Euron Greyjoy, and Euron shoots one of the two remaining dragons out of the sky with his big old catapult thingies. <laughs> so now Danny is down to one dragon, which is a real big deal. And I mean. You could kind of see her unraveling as the one dragon dies. It's like she's lost two of her children now. These are her children. She can't have children since, like, the first season of Game of Thrones because of that witch. And she she loves these dragons. And now she's down to one. She's lost two of her dragons. Kind of similar to what Cersei went through with losing all of her children. Now she's pregnant again. And what will she do to protect that? Um, so... You know, it's funny because it's like Euron thinks he's going to, you know, get Cersei's and, and he's going to be, you know, the king. But that's not ever going to happen. I have to say, I love the armor Jamie's or <laughs> Cersei's wearing in this episode. She's wearing these really cool shoulder pads. Her style is very, very evil queen this year. And I really <laughs> like it. Um, So a lot of the rest of the episode is just like them kind of talking and ter characters coming to terms what's going to happen. And. I think there's a big old thing where there's this discussion with Sansa and Arya and John tells them or has Bran tell them that who he really is. He tells them that he's Aegon Targaryen and everyone at this point is, he's like, I swear you're not going to tell anyone. <laughs> Guess what? Sansa tells, uh, 
tells uh, uh, <laughs> you know it's it's this reoccurring thing with me with names in the show there's so many of them she tells Tyrion and Tyrion of course goes to everyone he, he, he doesn't tell everyone but he tells he's telling uh, what's his name uh, the bald guy and it's just like Everyone knows now. They all know what's going to happen. And it's it's really like Tyrion's trying to finally stay devoted to someone his whole life. But you could see the whole episode. He's like, oh, no, this isn't good. Because he sees her unraveling and he sees how everyone loves Jon. Uh, so after the... the uh, the fleet gets uh, jumped. Everyone shows up and they kind of swim to shore. But there's a couple of people uh, that get M Miss Miss Sande, I think was her name, gets actually captured and taken by Cersei, by Euron, really, right? And so th takes her back, and she eventually doesn't. She meets an unpleasant end, but. <laughs> The hound is going down to the uh, to his confrontation with his brother. Presumably, the the Gregor Bowl is going to happen here. We is what we keep thinking. Um, and I at this point, Danny's like, I'm gonna burn. She's basically gonna burn all of the city down. She's she's like, I can't let this happen i can't let <laughs> she loses her crap really is what happens right um she sits there and goes you killed my dragon uh and just loses her mind and she's like she's like she's gonna burn king's landing down right she's like you're you you killed my dragon <laughs> her her other child and you go what's gonna happen now like this is really the point where you go, oh crap, she's going to lose it, and John's gonna have to take her out of the picture. And I keep saying this; these are all spoiler reviews, but I'm pretty sure Danny's going to get killed by John because I don't think Danny's stable anymore. And there's a prophecy, as I keep saying, Jamie's gonna kill Cersei, and John's gonna kill Danny, and it really kind of sucks. Um, like the last straw is like Tyrion walks up to King's Landing after the army of Danny has been come up and is like, "Come on, Cersei, don't die. We're <laughs> you don't have to die. The city doesn't have to burn. People don't have to suffer. Just surrender. You've lost. It's okay. We're not gonna kill you. Just." And she's like, "Nope." She cuts off the head of uh, what's her name, Missandei, and uh, doesn't kill Tyrion. She had the chance to kill Tyrion, but doesn't. And uh, it's setting up. We have two episodes left this season, episodes five and six, and some crap's going to hit the fan. More characters are going to die. We lost another one this week, and it's not going to be a happy total by the end of all of this. And <sighs> it's been really tense, man. It's, it's going to be sad when it's all over, and it's going to be sad while it's ending because there's going to be a lot of deaths of characters you've really grown to love over the last eight seasons. So... It was, it was a relatively light episode on action, but that was all because of what was being set up for these last two season episodes. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for when I release new videos. Um, and thank you for watching this, and I will see you guys next week.